on having hip surgery, Clay can give you some insight on we're, this. We're doing a little video each week of the steps of what's going on for the video. Uh, I finally got where I could sit in the chair. Not very long, but I could sit in the chair. This is the first week. And this is week one. The pain is slowly going away. Other than the, the staples in my thigh hurt. He's in his boxers, so excuse us for that. I'm just trying to <laughs> recuperate from the pain. Um, I've been taking the pain pills every six hours. One, one uh, oxycodone. And uh, it's helped a lot. It's helped me sleep so that it, I can sleep through a lot of it. And when you sleep, you rest and heal quicker. So <coughs> next week at this time, I have to go and have the stitches out. And the doctor's going to look at it. And as the... The pain goes away. I'm going to be able to walk more and more. But you still have to use the walker. For those that are... People will be telling you that... Yeah, I had the hip surgery and I was walking the same day. Well, it's not the same as what walking the same day is. You're using the walker. You're taking baby steps with that hip. And it, you're in pain the whole time you're doing it. So yes, you're walking. But not like you're going down the street walking. They, he did, they had him in at surgery at 9 in the, like 8.30, 9 in the morning. I was done by 10 o'clock. Yep, he was done by 10, and then the next day he was released by noon, but he was unable to take a bath himself because of the yeah. pain and standing up and all. He was unable to get into the recliner. He was going to need help. He was, uh, he's unable to get or to the bathroom. First, for at least the first two weeks. Yeah, because, uh, just so you know, because, like, like we thought originally just I had a heck of a time getting out of bed. You will not be able to drive home. Mm -mm. You will not be able to you do a lot. You won't be driving for about the third week. Yeah, because the pain, I mean, you. some people may be different, but for the most part. My pain level has went down. And, um, and Clay's usually not a whiner about pain. I usually get by with it. Well, I, how long did I have the hip pain from the deteriorating hip? Right, right. Well, probably several years now. Right. It was just now it was time to get it fixed. He he took a fall, fall at work. He had trouble for years, but the fall at work seemed to be the thing that... Probably didn't help matters. Yeah, I mean, he's not out on... Um, I'm not out on camp. I'm no, out, he, he's... I'm out on FMLA. Which is family medical leave. Just, you know, because it's just something they, going on. They told me because I'm a diabetic, it would probably be 10 to 12 weeks. Because diabetics heal slower. Eat protein. Yep, you gotta eat your protein. Clean those with that wound. <laughs> Stay clean. Yes, make sure you, you know. Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. You got somebody to help help you with sponge baths and stuff because you're not gonna be able to do a regular shower for. And, a and if you're weeks. a woman, you and you cannot lift your husband. Make sure, like what we had to do one time, Clay got in the recliner like the first I day. I get out of it. And I had to call his brother to come get him out and his and his son because I Clay and I tried to get him out. We just couldn't do it. I, I didn't have the strength. So you're not going to be able to pull yourself out and beat him. And Clay's strong. He's like a bull. And he could not get himself out. Well, I can get out of him now, but... But, I mean, I'm saying, no, but I'm saying that a lot of men aren't even as strong as you are. But as we do the videos, you'll see just how much um, mobility I've got. Um, the first... I'd say the first three days, I had no mobility at all. My leg, I couldn't make my leg move to where I wanted to. They give me. They gave you what they gave you. They give me this. Everything on top. But yeah, I got stuff on there. This is to be able to move your your leg. Now, what it does is it it hooks over your foot, and you can. Move your leg in and out as you need to. Yeah. And the thing is, is, we learned a couple of tricks. We actually prayed that God would help us. One thing I was... I use it to lasso the headboard so I can get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, because I can't pull clay up. You can't pull me up. 
and then I can't sit up. Partly because you're supposed to keep your hip less than a ninety degree. Partly because I had a really bad car accident in two hundred five, so I could do a lot of things. But all right, we're going to let you go. Oh, I want to talk to them about how you slept on the side, how you sleep sideways on the bed. I don't sleep sideways. Well, I lay flat. No, no, but I how have you have to have the pillow under my hip. No, but you and did. My leg. But no, but you kind of slept at an angle, so you could slide your leg over and didn't have to do. Oh, you have to sleep. Well, with, we did. You, ha I have to sleep with my head at the foot of the bed, only because it was my right hip. You want to keep your bad hip facing the outside of the bed. I'd have been all right if I'd have been on the other side, but there's not enough room between there and the wall to get me walked around. So I'm sleeping on my side. Where I got the room to get in and out. The sun is the shining. The sun is right in my eyes. But though the other thing too, guys, is um, he sleeps like diagonally. Yeah. Because it's easier to scooch his leg over. That's what we found. Yeah. But you sleep where you're comfortable. Yeah, sleep where you're comfortable. We just found some little tricks for us. And you'll find the same things when you're doing it. And then I did take sleep next to Clay. To Clay one time, and uh, I said to him, I said, would you like me to come take a nap next to again, what'd you say? She, no, because <laughs> she snored for the, for the full three hours that she was in there, and kept me awake. I was like... <sighs> and then she was wiggling, so every little movement in the bed was teleporting it up through my hip, <laughs> which probably wouldn't be so bad now that most of the pain is subsiding but the first day but oh, I'm, over those first I'm, couple of days the first four days are the worst you don't even you feel like why did i do this but now that some of the pain's going away and i'm going to be able to get some movement in my legs and be able to do some movement walking and that i'll be happy and thankful i did it but just, just, and if you're the caregiver of the other person. But we did it now so that. Oh, yeah. I'll be walking by the holidays. But, but if you're the caregiver, just like a newborn baby, you sleep when they sleep. Pretty yeah. much focus on doing your meals just and laundry. Don't and get your, yourself overtired because you still have to keep you're your take pain care pills, of them. Keep, I have to do a pain. I'm supposed to do one to two pain pills every six hours. I haven't been doing one. I probably could have done two, but I'm not a big pill taker, so other than my diabetes medicine. So. And also, to get get if a. If you need to take two, by all means do it, but only take your pills when they're directed. The doctor said every six hours, so I take one every six hours. And do, and we have been, you can see dirt and stuff on the floor. We've been moving things back and forth all around. Because you have to you make a clean path wherever he's got to work or move. And, and uh, but the thing, we don't, tell him what happened the day, the day before surgery. It was my birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had all kinds of problems. The electric went out, the cable went out, and he was trying to get ready to leave. It was yeah. just crazy. Trying to get things ready to go. But, but anyway, he's doing much, much, I mean, I, in the week, he's doing like almost 100% better, I'd say, today. Well, it kind of hits you today, though, that you're really good. From 1 to 10, I was doing a 1 the first day. I'd say now I'm on a, like a 4 for being able to get up, get, get around. I'm still using the walker and baby steps. I can't get my legs, because I still got the stitches in there and they're, um, the 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 stitches pull. You if you've had stitches, you know what I'm talking about. They're not stitches. These are staples, and every little move you make, you can feel a staple pulling. But but on for your skin. So I mean, you can only take tiny little steps, and until they get those staples out, um, it's going to be sore. So. But for that first week, I would suggest get a potty chair, get some help in case you can't pick up somebody. Get a man urinal or female thing, clear the pass, and the other person, the, the caregiver, don't overdo it because and you have you to take care alone, of them. If you live alone, I suggest that you go through, they, they suggest either you go home if you got someone to take care of you, or to go into a rehab. Yes. For the nurses and that to take care of I advise you to go to the rehab. I had Ruthie and my brothers. And I'll 
I'll survive. But if you live alone, you're not going to get up and go make yourself a meal, take yourself to the bathroom. And, and you won't be that. able to drive or you, anything. And you're stuck for three weeks trying to take, trying to fend for yourself. And you'll go into a, a terrible remission if you try doing it on your yeah, own. Yeah, it's not, it's not worth it's it. It's not worth it. So, so, so take, just... Take the help for... For the, the weaker, first, for the weaker, so yeah, they want to give it to you. Yeah, so that the first, that so the very beginning, and also too, we missed it because they, um, what we didn't know about this was they, they said, when are you gonna go in for surgery? Remember that? How they said they were like, what about Monday? What about Wednesday? Like yeah. you didn't know to like almost the moment the, of it. The day before they gave me the time. And you've got to stop this video because he's got to go in the other room. I've got to go in the other room. My hip is killing me. I've got to. Yep. Get laid down and, and take my pain pill. Okay, guys. So we're going to wrap this up, and we'll see you in one week. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. God bless.